Good evening. Last night, we all witnessed number 24 for the Cleveland Browns, Nick Chubb, suffer a significant injury to his left knee. My name is Dr. Stephen Wilson, and if you like learning about the mechanism of injuries in sports and the relevant anatomy, then please like and subscribe to help out and support our page. With the Cleveland Browns playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers in the National Football League, Nick Chubb is the ball carrier for Cleveland and is tackled by a couple of members of the Steelers. On replay, we can see how Nick Chubb's left foot is firmly planted on the turf with what appears to be a lot of traction. So much so that when Chubb is tackled, he is then bent over top of the Pittsburgh player who is already on the ground. This is extremely problematic because Chubb's left knee becomes the fulcrum or flexion point of movement when he is tackled to the ground. Immediately there are, there are multiple concerns when I see this play. First off, uh, the risk of fracture is very high as there are different kinds of serious bone injuries that can occur with such a strong line of drive on the knee from an awkward angle. The angle appears to stress his knee from the front and from the outside which places his knee into a hyperextended position with an outward valgus stress as well. Uh, essentially, this injury will be complex and, and will likely involve more than one structure whether it be multiple ligaments, uh, the meniscus, or a fracture. With the anatomy screen here we can visualize the structural components of your knee joint. The internal ligaments are your PCL and your ACL and they can certainly uh, be compromised with a hyperflexion injury and then you have your two ligaments on the side with your LCL and your MCL these are the ones that are more vulnerable to blows from the side of your knee. When we see Chubb's left foot anchored to the ground and his knee bending in an unnatural angle, we can see how a high amount of stress will be placed straight through his MCL. With a stress like this, the fibers of his MCL are under heavy tension and probably enough to cause a complete tear. The other structure to consider is the meniscus, which also could have been injured. The unnatural angle that I mentioned is happening with a hinge joint. Your knee is designed to only move back and forth in one direction. Nick Chubb's knee is in a position that would be similar to uh, pulling as hard as you can down from the top of an open door and watching the door hinge bend awkwardly. Keep in mind this entire plate occurred with Chubb standing up so there is a compressive force from his body acting downward on his plant leg which is his left leg. His knee is also uh, fully extended in what would be called a closed packed position, which is also the most stable position for his knee to be in. And after all of that, this devastating knee injury still occurred. With multiple structures likely being affected, a knee dislocation is also a possibility. Thank you as always for watching. Take care.